Joey Dale from uh, Camden, New Jersey, creator of Hustle by Nature. One thing I want people to understand is just like, I'm trying to bring light to this city and opportunities. It's not like Joey's gonna become this millionaire and I'm just gonna pass my money on my pocket. Like, everybody gotta come along because Hustle by Nature stay for free. Mm -hmm. uh, First day, I just want this to be just open space for people to come take their pictures at. Uh, it's probably thinking of like a little island in the middle, a couple of English shelves around the store. Opening the store was, it wasn't really my dream. It was like something that came along the way. But mm -hmm. now it's starting to become like one of the things that are at the goal and let me accomplish like all this mm -hmm. stuff. Every day I come here, even if I don't got no money around, I like a set agenda. I just come here like, just to figure out, like, all right, what can I do? Or mm -hmm. just being in this space makes me feel good. Mm -hmm. It's like, all right, if I'm here, I know I'm gonna accomplish something, even if it's just cleaning up. Mm -hmm. like, yesterday, if y'all came here, it was carpet everywhere, it was mm -hmm. couches, mm -hmm. but move that out. It was just part of the process. Every day is like a step. Even if you don't accomplish something big, just even sleep on the floor for just that dirt to get out. Mm -hmm. Just a little sign. Mm -hmm. So it's just come here every day trying to complete science and it's like now that I'm in Pesaka I want to get involved in a township mm. like with the uh the council like the the, um, the mayor and stuff I want to get involved in that type of stuff not, oh, really? not political stuff but like if they have an affair I want to oh HBN going to be a part of this fair or mm -hmm. I'm happy you want to be part of the community yeah like part of the community like doing charity work and stuff like that it was three locations I mean yeah, it was three locations it was this one one out Fairview and one out east mm -hmm. and, um I just feel like this was the best location business wise. Yeah. It's, it's very good. I was gonna be the only like business. I didn't wanna bring too much attention. Mm -hmm. And on our east the project was gonna cost too much to get it done. So and this one was just like it was already pretty much built. The only thing I had to do was paint and move stuff out and take the carpet up. Mm -hmm. So and then it's just it's street be busy. Mm -hmm. Getting busy all day. I feel like my whole brand is really a movement. It's just something that you constantly do and hustling mm -hmm. is like a movement is literally something that you gotta do. So I feel like the hustle by nature is a movement. That's why I just always say like like verb, adjective, something you're doing. I'm starting to look at hustling as an art too. Mm. There's so many different forms of it. And I don't know, it's just, it's just crazy how you can make a dollar doing anything. Like those kids that stand out in the corner, mm -hmm. well, um, I think at, at the beginning of West Hill, they got out there selling water. I just, like, that's crazy because they could be right there selling drugs, but they selling water. Yeah. They're still making an honest dollar. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, you gotta respect it. No, you're 22, right? Yeah. You're 22, this is downtown Pensacola. You got a storefront. Mm -hmm. You know, do you do you see yourself as being ahead of the curve in terms of the people your age, or do you feel like you got a lot of attention? How do you, how do you see yourself? In the future? I feel like I'm in the middle. Yeah. Because I'm still part of that crowd, regardless of how ahead of I, I consider myself. I try, I never try to get too big at it because it's like, I'm in a, I feel like I'm like in a weird space right now because like, I'm outgrowing people. And it's like I'm catching up with people, so it's just like, where do I really fit in at right now? Mm -hmm.